Now that you've finished your warm-up robot, <clears throat> it's time to start drawing your final one. You have an idea sheet here. It says, let's draw a robot. It's got a bunch of different ideas for details. You want to try and pick and choose from different robots instead of just copying one completely. On the back, there are also some more features. We've got eyes, noses, controls, arms, legs, top of your head, and mouth. So you're going to go ahead and start drawing. I recommend starting with the body. So you can choose one of these or you can create your own body. You're going to be drawing in pencil. I'm going to be drawing in Sharpie so that you can see what I'm drawing. Now it's time to try out the crayon coloring techniques and choose your favorite. You're going to choose one color to do for all of them, except for the one that has blend two colors. The first one, it says light pressure. If you look, it all looks very even. So you're going to evenly add light pressure, working on staying inside your lines and working on your craftsmanship. It looks all very even. Heavy pressure. Hold your crayon nice and low. I like to go in little circles. I usually outline my shape first and turn my paper while I work. It makes it easier. I'm not gonna turn my paper for the video so that you can actually see it. I'm trying to make sure there's no white spots. This is also called coloring opaque. Next one, dark edge. Same exact thing, you're gonna combine the two. So you're just gonna put a dark edge around the circle and then lightly color in the middle. Next one is gradient. It looks like it goes from dark to light. So I'm going to fill in the whole entire circle lightly first. Then I'm going to layer the crayon. So I'm going to go on the bottom and just keep layering it. I'm doing that same pressure, that light pressure, and just layering and adding more and more and more. The more I add, the darker it will get. As I go higher, I want to make my pressure lighter. And then the bottom even go really dark and then try to fade it so it looks almost like an ombre look. The next one you're going to take your first color and your second color and you're going to do the light pressure and then blend them in the middle. So I'm going to start with one doing that light pressure and then even lifting it more when I get to the middle. Same thing on the other side. Light pressure. Once we get close to each other lifting it and going a little bit into the other side. And then I can go back in with my first color and just add a little bit into the other side. And you're gonna get that blending effect. And then last one is overlap. You fill the entire thing with that light pressure. Trying to go in all the same direction if you can. And then you're going to add the second color right over the top. Same pressure. It's just going to change the look of your colors. Now it's time for you to try out three different background ideas and then choose your favorite. 
These are the three. We have number one. Start with a shape near the corner of your paper. Mark the top and bottom, left and right. Top, bottom, left and right. Draw lines from your marks to the edge of your paper. Add one line in between each line you drew. That will give you some extra. Art tip, try to make the space between each line about the same thickness. So that's about the same thickness, that's about the same thickness. Then try number two. You're gonna start with a shape anywhere in your background. I started with a circle. Then begin drawing the shape, gradually getting bigger until you fill the entire background all the way to the edges. Again, art tip, try to make sure the space between your lines is about the same thickness. And last one, number three, start with two shapes anywhere in your background, then begin drawing the shape gradually getting bigger and bigger. Once they get close to each other, you're gonna stop one. So I stopped this one, and I'm gonna continue this one in the background all the way to the edges of my paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that a try. Now you're going to choose your favorite and start drawing it very lightly on your large paper with your robot. Be careful and make sure that you are draw, skip, draw behind your robot so it looks like it's in the background and then outline it in Sharpie.